The Riker Tonopena Via handheld tonometer is the next generation in the Tonopen family of applination tonometers. A wide range of patients are considered to be at risk for glaucoma and may need routine screening. The Riker Tonopena Via tonometer offers the medical community a simple and accurate option for patient screening. The instrument is lightweight, convenient, and accurate. Its handheld design, compact size, and self-contained power source make it easy to use and a valuable tool for performing intraocular pressure screenings in the office as well as out of the office. And it's patient-friendly too. Readings can be taken from any position, and the patient does not feel discomfort when the device is gently tapped against the anesthetized cornea. In a matter of seconds, the LCD readout displays an average of up to 10 IOP measurements, along with a statistical confidence indicator. Children, the elderly, wheelchair-bound patients, and soft contact lens patients can be examined easily. The simple handheld design of the device means that it can be easily used by a physician, nurse, or technician. The first step is to anesthetize the patient's cornea by the application of a topical anesthetic. The next step is to prepare the tonopena via tonometer for use by placing an Ocufilm tip cover on the transducer. Ocufilm tip covers eliminate the potential for cross-contamination and protect the sensitive transducer from dust and fluids. Be sure to use genuine Ocufilm tip covers with your Tonopen Avia tonometer. Ocufilm tip covers are engineered specifically for use with Tonopen brand tonometers and are the only tip covers manufacturer approved for use with the device. Order Ocufilm tip covers from Reichert or your authorized Reichert distributor. Ocufilm tip covers are very easy to use. They are simply rolled on using the integrated cardboard applicator, like this. However, care must be taken to ensure that the Ocufilm tip cover is not applied too tightly or too loosely over the transducer. This illustrates a tip cover with the proper tension. Pleats like these should be seen, indicating the correct tension and allowing the transducer post to move freely. If too taut, the Ocufilm tip cover might introduce resistance in the micro movement of the transducer post, which could cause readings that are too high. On the other hand, tip covers should not be too loose so that they form a fold or a crease over the transducer. Adjust the tension until pleats are evident. It's also important that you bring the Tonopen Avia to room temperature before use, especially if it has been stored in an environment which is subject to temperature extremes. If your patient is prepared, you are now ready to start the measurement process. To initiate the test, press the blue operating button one time only. The Tonopen Avia will beep and 5 eighths, along with a battery life indicator, will be displayed briefly in the liquid crystal display, or LCD. This indicates that the Tonopen Avia tonometer has passed the initial self-test. If any other display is shown on the LCD, please refer to the verification, maintenance, and troubleshooting section on this DVD. After briefly displaying the 5 eighths, the green LED will light, and the LCD will display a double row of dashes, which indicates the Tonopen Avia tonometer is ready to measure IOP. You now have 15 seconds to begin the applination procedure. If you exceed the 15 seconds, the Tonopen will beep, the LED will go out, and the LCD will display a single line of dashes followed by a blank window. This indicates that the instrument is in battery saving mode. To reinitiate the measurement mode, 
simply press the operating button again, one time only. After the double row of dashes is displayed, proceed with the IOP measurement. Gently applinate or tap the transducer on the patient's anesthetized cornea. Notice how the tonneau pen of via tonometer is perpendicular to the cornea and the taps are light, quick touches. You will hear a click sound with each applination. With ideal technique, you will hear two clicks for each touch of the eye, signaling that a reading was taken on both the inward applination and outward applination. The data field of the LCD registers the number of readings obtained. The tonneau pen of via tonometer takes 10 readings and displays the average. After 10 readings are obtained, the device will beep and the LED will go out at the end of the measurement. The IOP reading is immediately displayed on the LCD. It's that easy. Notice the smaller two-digit number to the right of the IOP measurement. That is the statistical confidence indicator expressed in percent. The higher the statistical confidence percentage, the more reliable the reading. In this example, the average of the readings is 16 millimeters of mercury with a statistical confidence indicator of 95%. This represents a very reliable measurement. If you are satisfied with the results, the test is complete.